Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, if you guys watched my Madden 20 experiment with if three really good to perfect draft classes could save the Detroit Lions, well then you're going to like this video. If you didn't watch that video, I'm going to put that in the card above. You can watch that when this one's over. It will sit there for you. As you can see, we are going through the first season with the Nebraska Cornhuskers. This is kind of the same idea. We're going to see if three really good recruiting classes can bring Nebraska back to prominence. You can see Spielman here has broken the single season receiving record. And you can see we're about to lose some players. We're trying to persuade DiCaprio into staying, and he is and going to end up staying some other guys, we are going to try to get them to finish their degree. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to bring back Joseph as he is going to go to Colorado State. So Joseph Johnson going to transfer away from us. Some guys we have lost. Muhammad Barry is going to go. But we do bring back two guys that wanted to go to the pro draft, and that's going to be a big help. So here is the first recruiting class that is going to help bring Nebraska back to prominence. Luke Moyer, very good player. Roger McCarthy, a five-star defensive end. Derek Alvarez is a three-star Juco player, but an 80 overall helps anyone. John Burns, look at this guy, a number two quarterback in the country from Washington, D.C. Tim Barclay is a Juco, but again, an 80 overall Definitely can use him. Ira Battle is a freshman athlete, number 24 athlete, but an 80 overall. Anthony Stevens, the number one halfback in the country, a speed halfback. The number eight halfback in the country, Michael Young coming as well. Nicholas Cooper at corner, number six corner in the country. We bring him into Nebraska as well. A four-star cornerback. Definitely some guys that are going to make an impact right away. Anthony Bergstrand, a four-star defensive end. Anthony McKenzie's only a three-star guard, but definitely a gem. We bring in another halfback for depth. We also bring in Chris McKnight, outside linebacker, 76 overall. That's definitely a big recruiting chip for us. The 18th outside linebacker in the country. Only a three-star, but definitely a little bit of a gem. Bringing in Brian Cooper as well. Rucker. Tony Brown at tight end and another athlete in Scott Johnson. And as you can see, it is the number one recruiting class in the nation. 18 players overall, two five stars, 11 four stars, and five three stars coming in to be Cornhuskers. So through the first season, we bring in the number one recruiting class. And that's huge because it's over the likes of Georgia, Notre Dame, Alabama, Ohio State. This is huge. So Martinez is going to be the starting quarterback, and we're going to try to redshirt John Burns so that he could be ready to go next year as possibly the starting quarterback with 89 speed. Definitely want to nurture that kind of thing. As we go through these red shirts, you can see here Spielman still here for a senior year. So why not redshirt some of these guys? Look how many tight ends we actually have on roster. We're also going to redshirt McKenzie so that he can be here next year. McCarthy's going to get the red shirt. Bergstrand as well. Cooper as, eh, we're not going to redshirt Cooper. Tanner, we're going to redshirt. We're going to redshirt McKnight as well. We want as many of these guys to be here next year as possible. Cooper, unfortunately, is very good, so we're going to re redshirt the bottom two corners. We're also going to redshirt Scott Johnson. Oh, yeah, Scott Johnson over Moyer. We'll let Moyer play his freshman year as a backup and see what ends up happening. This will be the schedule for year number two, which is the first year with any sort of recruiting class. So this will be the first year that counts to see if we can really bring Nebraska back to prominence. And as you can see, preseason rank number 22 NCAA thinks we can do it. So we'll see if we're able to. Obviously, Big Ten, very tough conference. They beat each other up, and this is what ended up happening in simulation. 38-6, to we beat Florida Atlantic, who ended up the number 14 team in the nation. We beat BYU. We beat Fresno State. We beat Rutgers. We lose to the number two team in the land, Ohio State. We beat Penn State 
in Penn State. We beat Purdue 35-0. We beat Northwestern barely. We beat Illinois barely, but in Illinois. We beat Wisconsin at home, the number one tw number 21 team. But we took a bad loss against Minnesota at home in overtime, 31-34. But we do beat Iowa in Iowa. And now we will play Ohio State for the conference championship. We lost to them, obviously, earlier this year. We beat them 31-14 to win the Big Ten in the very first year with a recruiting class. And nobody really for our squad is in on the Heisman, but we end up making the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl as the number eight team in all the land. We'll take on the number 10 Oregon Duckos. Shout out to Octi. That's his squad. So let's see if we can beat the Oregon Ducks here in bowl season. And we do. 27-17. Take that, Octi. Bakti Husker got you. All right. Martinez breaks the passing touchdown in a season record with 28. He also breaks the school career passing touchdown record with 54. So best quarterback in Nebraska history, maybe? Spielman is going to break his own single-season receiving record, and Spielman will graduate with that. So we've got a couple other guys that want to go to the draft. Washington is a guy that wants to go to the draft, and we're just going to let him do it, as well as all of the other guys. We do convince Moyer to stay. He wanted to leave due to playing time, but, like, I didn't even redshirt him. But Burns, unfortunately, we cannot turn him around, so we're going to lose an incredible recruit that we ended up picking up, as well as Jamar Rucker. So two of our recruits from Season 1 are going to leave us. A third tried, and I didn't let him do it. So now we look at the second recruiting cl class, and we bring in Gene Griffin, Aaron Walker. We really concentrated a lot on defense. You can see corner, outside linebacker, and middle linebacker, and Cook. We brought in a DN and Ricky Brown. We also brought in a receiver there. As you can see on the top, we're also co concentrating very much on the trenches, centers, tackles, all coming in. And we tried to bring in some athletes as well that we can possibly move around and really get some things done with. We brought in a fullback, maybe in hindsight shouldn't have recruited a fullback, probably would have ended up with the number one class without him. But... It's going to be hard to beat Alabama's class with five five-star players. You can see all these guys that they've brought in. Five five-stars, a bunch of four-stars. So great class by Alabama, but we do come up with the number two class in the nation. We're already the number five team in the nation, and we brought in the number one and then number two class. So got to be looking good for us as Martinez makes it to a 99 overall. So McCaffrey looks to be the guy after him. We're going to have to redshirt at least one of these guys. We'll redshirt Hamby. We're also going to redshirt Sanders, who we just brought in. Brought in a freshman fullback. We also want to redshirt, I think, either McDonald or Smith here. I'm going to go with Smith because he's the one on the bottom. Hopefully, he won't try to leave. We're going to redshirt Joseph. We're going to redshirt Moody. We're going to redshirt Williams, as we got a lot of guy for the tr guys for the trenches here. We want to redshirt them so the seniors can leave. We're going to redshirt the last left end. We're going to redshirt... Eh, nah, we're going to leave Cooper alone. We're going to redshirt Cook, because Quinn really shouldn't even be on this team. We're going to redshirt there, and we're going to redshirt Griffin on the bottom of your screen. We're also going to redshirt Thomas, not, not that other one. No, 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 no. So Moyer is going to be the starting strong safety, as I did promise him more playing time this year. So we have to let him play. So here we take a peek at the def chart. We're going to go ahead and set this def chart the way it should be and making sure Moyer is starting, and he is. So that is how it's going to go this year. This is a big year. This is the second simulated year after the second draft class. We're only doing one more, not draft class, but recruiting class. We're only going to do one more recruiting class after this. So here's the schedule. BYU, South Alabama, Boise State, Maryland, Rutgers, Penn State, Purdue, Northwestern, Illinois, Wisconsin is ranked, Minnesota, and Iowa. So here we, you could see Elgato kind of messed me up a little bit, but we are in the conference championship against Michigan, and we win it by three, 38 to 35. Really close game, but we do win the Big Ten two years in a row. So at least we are making Nebraska relevant again. Martinez 
will turn around and finish second in the Heisman behind Florida State running back Lamborn. And you can see we're the number six team in the nation with an 11-2 season. We're going to take on the 11-1 Texas Tech Red Raiders. They are the number five team in the nation, and we beat them 31-21 to win the Rose Bowl. So we've won the Fiesta Bowl and the Rose Bowl in back-to-back -back years. So definitely taking Nebraska to somewhat prominence here as Martinez breaks the career passing records record. He also breaks the career passing touchdowns in a season record with 37 TDs. Great season from Martinez. He also has 91 in his career. Hunt breaks the receptions record in a season. And Hunt breaks the school season receiving yards record, which was previously set by Spielman, who broke his own record. Then Hunt is going to set the receiving touchdown record with 12 so very good year this year offensively, especially as Martinez is going to be a first round draft pick. And you can see Cooper is going to leave due to playing time. He's going to go over to Temple. We're going to try to bring him back. He's undecided and we're making him all kinds of promises. He needs to figure it out himself. And then we're promising him five sacks and he's still not going to come back. So he's going to go to Temple even though he was here for a year. So he did not like where he was positioned on the depth chart. So now the final recruiting class that should lead Nebraska all the way to the title, hopefully. We get GGB's long-lost cousin Leonard Vini, as well as Jasper Harley, Chris Moses, Jamal Spencer, Skyler Pratt, Jared Smith, Tony King. These are all really good players. Joseph Perkins we're going to bring in. Adam Mills we bring in as well. James Cole. Brandon Horn, so shout out to Husker, your brother's in this as well. Brandon Horn is coming to the squad out of Louisiana. Ed Lacey, a great tackle, the number one tackle in the country supposedly. Gerald Ellis is coming, Richard Turner, Brandon McKnight at tackle, Lance Moss from Pennsylvania, Reggie Kraft, Mike Ostrander, Devin Williams, Gabe Morse. Some of these guys we didn't even really go after that hard. Gabe Morse from Colonia, New Jersey. See, people like, teams like Rutgers need to go better in their own state. Anthony Porter, Joe Colvin, and Michael Baker. So we do pull in some lower level guys, but who knows, they could even get cut. But Notre Dame with the number one class in the country by virtue of their 12 four-star players. But we do get a full 25-man class, and it is the number two class in the country. So number one, number two, and number two should help to lead you to a national title. Theoretically, McCaffrey going to take over as the number one quarterback this season. And we are going to, of course, perform some red shirts as some of these freshmen. You can see McDonald has moved his way up the depth chart. Harley, probably going to have to take the red shirt there as there's a lot of tight ends on this team. Vini is going to start at left guard, I believe. We are going to red shirt Lacey, though, and McKnight. As you can see, some of these guys, Moses is going to end up playing. We're going to red shirt the freshmen. We're going to red shirt Cole, leave Spencer there. Red shirt King, leave Pratt there. Williams, eh, he might have to take a red shirt, even though he's a Juco. Red shirt, the freshman there, and there's nothing else to do as Moyer is now a junior and has been playing. This will be his third year. So looking at the schedule, we're going to take on Fresno State. UConn, who stole our quarterback. Maryland, Michigan State, Penn State, Purdue, Wyoming, Northwestern, Illinois, Wisconsin, of course, Minnesota, and Iowa. So Minnesota, Penn State, Michigan State, all very, very, very tough games. We're going to watch the final season get simulated here as we beat Fresno State 24-21. to We beat UConn 34-13. Of course, they didn't have um, our quarterback starting there because he's a transfer and has to sit a year. We kill Maryland 56-14. We get a bye week in week four. Week five, we play Michigan State. That is where we take our first loss, 21 to 10. We get another bye in week six before we beat ranked Penn State on the road, 35 21. Then we take a home loss to Purdue. That is terrible. You just can't take a loss like that. We beat Wyoming 41-6. Then we will take on Northwestern and beat them 28-16.
Sorry the screen goes a little dark here, but we do beat Illinois by 2, 33-31. Then we take on Wisconsin, no longer ranked, and we kill them, 42-14, as we beat Minnesota 26-7 in Week 13, and finish with a win against Iowa, 45-27. So two losses, one of them was completely unnecessary against Purdue. The other one warranted against Michigan State, and we get a chance to avenge it here in the Big Ten title game, and we do. 38-24, the win against Michigan State. So that's two out of these three years we've avenged losses to fellow Big Ten opponents that we took during the year. One against Ohio State and one here against Michigan State. So by winning the Big Ten title three straight years, no Heisman candidate this time around as Keenan Kristen wins it. We are the number seven team in the nation playing the Rose Bowl once again, and this time we draw Notre Dame. So the Fighting Irish at 10-2, we will take on Notre Dame. Rose Bowl, can we win another Rose Bowl? Two straight Rose Bowls and three straight major bowl games? No, we lose it 28-21. In the final season, I probably should have gone another season in this video, but I didn't, and unfortunately I deleted the Dynasty to make room for some other stuff that I'm working on, as Robinson will break the receiving touchdowns in a career record. You will see some other things getting broken. I mean, records were broken. We won two major bowl games, lost a third major bowl game, have been in the top ten of the country every single year of this short little tiny mini experiment if you guys want to see this again let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in more ncaa content let me know in the comment section below i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and can't wait to see more franchise content all day every day on franchise gaming take care you're a pretty little star boy.